Hey guys, so today is Sunday and I am going to do the hashtag 365 days of samples or sample Sunday. If you haven't seen these videos from me before, it is where I pick 10 samples, go through them, I try to use them up, let you guys know my progress on them the next week, or if I finished anything, my final thoughts on the samples. I'll link my playlist down below if you guys are interested. I've been doing this for over a year now and I have gone through some really good samples. So I have finished one item from last week and I pulled out another sample that I used up as well. So I will show you the one I was working on last week. This is the Jack Black Natural Mint Lip Balm. And if you guys have been following me, you know this took me forever to use. I've been using this constantly for the past couple of weeks or so. Um, I'm not a big fan of the natural mint flavor or tingle aspect of it. I do like that it has SPF 25. They are cruelty free, but I didn't like the tingling on my lips. I just, I guess, have sensitive lips and this wasn't something that I would gravitate towards for a lip balm, but it was nice. Um, if you guys are into more tingly lip balms or like lip salves is more, I guess, this. This was more thicker than like a regular like EOS lip balm or like a chapstick. But this was nice, but I am not going to repurchase the natural mint one. I may try their other flavors. Then the other sample was just a little card sample. This is the YSL Mon Puri, and I love this fragrance. It has, let's see, the Datura flower is balanced by red berries, creamy white musk for a sparkling scent that will take you on a passionate and unforgettable whirlwind journey to Paris. I love this stuff. I have a rollerball of this. Fortunately, unfortunately, YSL is not cruelty free. I did purchase that before I started making the transition, but if you guys have not smelled this, it smells amazing. I also tried, can't remember what the other little staple is, that black opium from YSL and love that as well. So I definitely recommend you guys checking out this scent. Okay, moving on to the progress on other items that I have been working on this week. Uh, we will start with the Caudalie, or Caudalie. This is the Face Lifting Moisturizer, SPF 20. I've been using this pretty much every morning. This was right here last week, and now I'm down to here. I actually thought I was going to have more progress on this than I actually did. Uh, this is a SPF moisturizer that I do put on every day. Not a big fan of it. It doesn't have a scent to it, but hopefully I'll use this up next week. The other moisturizer I use at nighttime is from Belief. This is the True Cream Aqua Balm, and this is more like a moisturizing gel. It has a cooling sensation to it on the face and kind of like a menthol -y smell to it. You can see maybe that I have hit the bottom of this moisturizer. Um, I do really like this. I wish it was cruelty free, but I am going to continue to work on this. The next thing is from Pure Lace. This is the BB Tinted Moist Cream SPF 30. I have been really enjoying this product. I started at that line right there and I'm now down to there. Would have thought I had more progress on this as well. I think there might be an air bubble or something in here. Since that one week I went from like here to here, which actually that might have been the air bubble because the other ones are like steady, steady progress up here and down here. So um, I am still, still going to use this. I do believe that they are cruelty free. Not 100% sure. I know this is free of parabens, petrochemicals, fragrance, phyllotates. Triclosan and propylene glycol. So this is really good like BB moisturizer and foundation in one. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely check out this brand and this little BB cream. It has been working. Then the next thing that I've been using is the Living Bloom. This is the healing flower oil. And I've been really enjoying this stuff. You don't need a lot of oil, so this is actually going to take quite a bit of time to get through. I used it probably like once or twice. I just did a couple drops, went through my hands, and then just kind of went through my hair to get all of like the frizz and stuff out. I normally do this after like I blow dry my hair. 
So I am still working on this for next week and I'll let you guys know where my progress is. Then the next thing was the Kat Von D. This is the Locket Concealers. And I had the shade Light and Neutral. I've been using Light. I still have a little bit of this to go. Um, this, I definitely think I'll probably be a mixture between Light and Neutral. So I'm probably somewhere between their shade Light 3 and their Light 11. But I have liked the coverage of this. And I do like how it sits on the face and... Like I said, the coverage of it. So I will continue to use this. We'll try the neutral one out. Maybe try mixing them for this next week. But I have been really enjoying this concealer sample. The next thing is from Living Proof. This is the Prime Style Extender. And it looks like that. I have opened this and used this once. I used it the other day, but then I just straightened my hair. So I don't know how much it's going to extend my hair. Um, it just says, extends any style two times longer, formulated with our advanced priming system. I do feel like it was weightless on my hair. It says a smooth strand and repel dirt and oil. Work alone or layered with your favorite styler. I don't know. So yeah, I used it Saturday morning and it is now Sunday around to one or two o'clock and I do find that my hair does feel really good it is still straight so I'll keep you guys updated on this and see if it really style extends like it says didn't have like a scent or anything to it it was like a nice gel so I'll keep you guys updated and then a couple things I did not use this week I didn't touch my Kat Von D locket foundation in the shade light neutral 45 because I am still working on that BB cream. I just didn't even think about this. This is the Ole Henriksen Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. And you do let this sit on your face for about 5 to 10 minutes and I just didn't have the time when I was thinking about washing my face to do something like that. And then the last item is from Way. This is the Wave Spray. And I am still at that line right there. I tend to more, I tended to straighten my hair more than curl it or leave it natural this week. So I didn't really gravitate towards this product. So I have nine items I am working on next week. So I can pull out one new item. I switched boxes. So this is. Currently what the box looks like here, all of these should be cruelty free, so cross your fingers. I did go through and declutter everything. I went and put a bunch of samples that were not cruelty free into one of my Sephora play box. Had my family look through it, so now I'm going to let my friends look through it. And so hopefully that helps with this process, but let's just dive in and get one more sample. Oh. We will do this. This is the Bite Agave Lip Mask. So I have tried this before. You get three of the little samples of the lip mask. You get Smashed, Champagne, and Natural. I really liked this product and this is cruelty free, more naturally, natural grade food, food grade products. Um, I do really like this. I'm happy to have them. Um, what I do want to say about this and the reason why I love it so much but haven't repurchased is the packaging. I find that a lot of people it starts to flake on them and sometimes it's harder to squeeze the lip mask out of. So I will take every staple I get from this product. I really enjoy it and am happy to be working on these since I finished that other lip balm up from Jack Black. So those are my updates on the samples I'll be working on this week and the new addition for this upcoming week. Let me know if you've tried any of these products out, what you guys think, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!